It's exciting because this is a pocket of extreme natural beauty. It is a really quite a magical place that when people know about it, they come back very regularly. I really love nature and I want that to be really important in my work. I really like the quite romantic English woodland idea. I do romanticise the forest as a den, as a safe place to hide away. On the footpath of any walk, there's lots of materials that are completely overlooked and will get destroyed if not picked up. So I started collecting those materials and bringing them home and then thinking about what I could use them for. The materials that I use are completely based on what is available nearby. Having the woods on your doorstep, every day you're walking in the same place and it changes so dramatically and it's beautiful all the way through the year. But it's really exciting when you walk and you suddenly notice you know, the first leaves coming out, the first snowdrops, the first bluebells. There's always a first all the time. Things do definitely catch your eye. At the moment in the winter, it's perhaps the shapes of the branches of the trees. It's almost like looking for something that isn't typical of nature, like maybe a quirky stick or a stone. I'm interested in the bits that could easily get overlooked and destroyed and trodden on. It is really about bringing the outside in and being able to enjoy the feeling of being in the woodlands, even though you're in your front room. People use bar because maybe that's all there was and they had to use it. And now we've got the luxury of thinking, well, we, we can still use it if we want to. We've got other choices. But bark is still there. It's so trusty and loyal. It's really strong, so it lasts forever. It's got some special resinous oils in it so that it, it never decays once it's kept inside and dry. It's just an amazing material. So once I'd started using it, nothing else quite replaces it, really. I always gather the materials first and then think about what I might do with them later. The best thing is to just collect the things that you really love and then just live with them and listen to them for a while. I love sycamore seeds and I know I'm not alone about that because so many people get really excited when they see that you've used the sycamore helicopter wings. I spend a lot of time sanding down the bases of acorn cups. I really love the stitching together so I never use glue. I did dabble with staples once but I got over that. <laughs> it's very very fiddly and a lot of the time it doesn't work. I have to start again or get fresh materials. Tying knots is so satisfying. I worked my way through a whole book. I think everybody should have about 10 knots that they're really comfortable doing. It'll impress people enormously. So I love knotting and just different ways of binding things together but also using unexpected materials to do the binding. The techniques are very painstaking and really, really fiddly. You do need quite a lot of patience to do it, but once you get into a rhythm, it's a little bit like knitting, you know, you can lose yourself in the process. I think it's incredibly important that we appreciate that things take a long time to make. The length of time, the process, you know, those materials, they grew, they flowered, they finish their practical life on a tree and now I'm incorporating them into something new and that's going to take time as well. I like the fact that it's laborious and slow. I've been experimenting trying to find where my work will, will fit in to be kind of recognised for appreciating just what's on my doorstep. Realising there's lots of other people out there as well who value what's in their immediate surroundings for different reasons. But by going back over and over again to the same environment, it's just a massive resource. It just keeps giving all the time. And maybe not just the landscape, but the people in that landscape too. People put things on my doorstep quite regularly now. It's taken a couple of years to build up to that. But once people begin to realise what you're looking for, they'll just leave you little offerings on the doorstep. I think the meaning is really about holding up the detail of nature to be admired. It's like we don't really look closely at nature very often but when you do and take the time out it is it's just incredibly good for you and makes you feel great